Welcome back beautiful beings. Today we are going to finish our spring pockets. Okay, so this will be spring pockets number three. I wanted to show you where I got these. These are from Material of Notes. And when I bought them, I got them on LI Express. But I'm sure if you look it up, you can get them on maybe Etsy, but probably Amazon, okay? And they got a bunch of different pictures in them included. Okay, and this one came in the set too. Okay, I just wanted to show you. Get all kinds of different things, so look them up. And you'll find them. Material of notes. Okay, beautiful beans. I got all kinds of different ones, okay? And I bought them like two or three years ago. <laughs> Probably four years ago. Right. But I found my corner puncher. Okay. Just to let you know. And the punches are very small compared to this puncher. Okay. This puncher is right there. I love this puncher. It's cracked though. That's why I buy a new one. But I still use it when it wants to work with me. But there's our 10 millimeter our four millimeter and our seven millimeter and that's what they look like and I do want to circle some of these so let's start with a small one here to show you see that's the smallest one all right I just want to try different ones on these that one doesn't look like it did it right. But at least it's doing it, I guess. So I, I think my cardboard was a bit thicker when I tried it. When I first tried it in the other video. But I just want to show you. I'm going to do different corner punches. show you all the different corner punches it does. Okay, I think I might do the small one again on this one. And then you can decide if you want to purchase this. I mean it works good. It just doesn't like like that one did it. <laughs> I had to say that didn't I? I had to say that. And this is a Ritz box, so it does cut the Ritz box. I'm just going around again. But sometimes it does that. See that? Sometimes. But I'm not really fussy. That's this, and here's all the little different shapes of corners. Get like there. Give you an idea. The two bigger ones aren't that different, but they kind of are, but they're really kind of not. And these two are the smaller ones. Okay. Let's get this mess out of the way. And set these aside. Now I want to move on to this. We made this in a different video how to make spring pockets I think it was called I'll put it in the description make sure you can see that yep you can see that okay but now we're gonna put paper if you have scrap paper from making your journals keep it because you can use them to make little notebooks or little notepads for smaller journals okay and I'm just making sure they're all even in the middle. And then we're going to staple it. And then just put a little decoration on it. With scraps I got from my little scrap bin that you've seen before. That I use. Put all my little scraps in. So we're just going to make sure they're all even lined up. And they are, then we're going to take 
take a stapler and put it in the middle and staple them together. Okay, now I got these little scraps here. Let's see how I want this. I'm just going to glue them down. I was hoping that was long enough, but that's right. I'm trying to get rid of the scraps. <laughs> Beautiful beings. I am. So I'm just going to trim this. Throw that away. Remember not to slam my scissors. On this table. It just sounds like I'm slamming them, but I'm really not. I'm going to fray this just a little bit. It works for me. Making another mess. <laughs> right. Let's get that out of the way. Let's start applying the glue. I'm just going to put a little bit right above the staple mark. I tried to incorporate all the colors that was in our little notebook. Because as you can see, there's a bunch of different colors in here. Okay, a bunch of different colors. I tried to incorporate all of them. Just don't know how I'm going to put them on here. I'm going to put that in the middle. Put this off to the side here. Let's there you go. Just simple. Then Stamps. I'm going to show you. I'm going to distress oxide chipped sapphire. This stamp, I don't even know who made it. Planner Inspiration. That's all it says there. 2016 Planner Inspiration Technique Tuesday. So it might be Technique Tuesday, it might be the name of who made these stamps. Okay? Show them a little longer so you can see what they say. And this one, I'm just going to go over here. Stamp that. You are amazing. Remember that? Oh, wait a minute. Here's the thing. Tech yep, it is Technique Tuesday. Okay? That's what they came in. Made in the USA. Okay? And then... I'm going to use a different color, probably yellow maybe. And then you stamp. And you can put more in. I'm just going to put one more in the middle. Here. No. Maybe here. Let's do it on the other side. There. I can't see it that good. Maybe I should do it again. Right. Yellow didn't work. I don't want to lose my spot. Let's do brown. Let's do brown for beans. And hopefully I can line it up. I'm gonna have to move it down. So I can see. <laughs> And there we go. Your smile brightens my day. Okay? Just add little cute notes to your notebooks. Okay? Get these out of the way. Move this in. And then that fits in there. And you can even fit pictures in there. If they'll fit more in there. And then tie it up. I'll try to make a bow. I did make a bow on those other ones, beautiful beans. That one, it 
worked. Probably because it was so long it worked for me. Remember to show you that. Oh, I got it laying right down there. I'll get it as soon as I try to make a bow here. There. I made a little bow. <laughs> it's not tight enough though, see? But that's why you can fit more in there. I'm just going to tie a knot. I don't know if it'll still stay in there. I'm just tying a knot. What else? Do I have anything here I can put in there? It kind of stays in there, but see, you can fit more, way more in there. Way more. I don't have no cards to show you. I thought I had I have these. I love these. These are from Bella Rouge Prima. Okay. Three by four journaling note cards. And I think they're really cute. Let's see if that holds it in there. Nope. See? Like I said, you could put a bunch of stuff in there. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> I glued this down in there, and this is a coffee cup that we made a long time ago. I'll make sure I try to put all the pockets we made in a description. And then this, I don't even know what to put on this. And then the little fisherman, life is better with friends. And I just used a book page with my die cut and cut that out. And then all I did was, you know, put paper onto a piece of cardboard. Nope, it's not cardboard, it's an earring thing. Okay, so keep your Infirma because you can use it, you know, the stuff that your earrings come on. Keep them because you can glue stuff to them. All right, I want to show you this. I went around it with Tuli or Tulip. Tulip. And I think it made it look really, really pretty. But I'm not sure where I want to glue her yet. And then I got this. And I don't have that book. But go on Ally Express and look up book authors. But book authors, I'd say book authors crafts. Because these are all from book authors. And I just glued it down on a piece of Kleenex box, but I do want to, I'm going to use the little one again and then the edges on this, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do around the edges on all these yet. I might use paint, I want to wrap some lace around, or some doily around, and I will show you how to do that, because we're going to doily one up, or we're going to ink a doily up, <laughs> beautiful things, okay, first I want to get this out of the way. I want to glue this down and if I thought about it I could glue, glue this on something else and make two pockets let's do that but now I'm gonna have to find cardboard or just like what is that like this you can use Ritz crackers junk mail Kleenex box junk mail okay so I'm gonna get a piece of junk mail Okay, beautiful beings. I got junk mail here. I got my bodge. It's almost empty. I'm gonna get rid of it. Just a warning when you do have my bodge and it starts getting empty, you will find lumps in the bottom. Okay? But after this, I can throw this one away. It looks like there's a bump there, but the, it's not. It's just the card, the paper they used, the design in the background. Oh, and I forgot to tell you that. On this other one, I did. I put Maj Baj on the top. And I want to show you what that looked like in case you like it, so you can do that. Which card was it? This one. Let's see, I want to make sure the 
See, I put Mod Podge on it. See, there, you can see the Mod Podge. Okay, just makes it shiny. Okay. I gotta clean my brush. Okay, beautiful beans. I cut it out so you don't have to watch me do that. And I'm gonna go around. What I wanna do is I wanna sew this. But I wanna make sure I put it on the right spot because I want this there. And then I'll cut, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I should cut it to size. I'm going to cut it to size, hopefully it goes straight. So I'm gonna sew this, and then I'll come back. But I wanted to ink right here. But you know what looked cute? Took a piece of this and wrapped it around. So I don't need that much. Like that. The top's too much. Just to add a little something because it seems too plain to me. So let's. Let's do that. Get this out of the way. And with this, when you sew these, I always get the, the ruffles on the upside, so they'd be the outside of the cup holder. And if you don't want them flat, just put the glue in every other one or on top of the ruffle, okay? Right on top of the ruffle. I didn't put on that one because I think I'm cutting that part off. But right on top of the ruffle. And I'm doing it on that one just in case. Just in case. But I want enough to wrap. And I'm only dabbing it. I'm not pushing down because if you push down, the ruffle will go away. Then, put it on the back. This. Do that to wrap it around. Am I talking loud enough? I hope I am. Maybe I should just cut this off afterwards. Okay, I gotta remember to talk louder. Somebody in my family said you need to talk louder, Mom. I'm not talking loud enough. Alright, see? See how we got the ruffle still? We did not push down. Just does not want to come off right there. I almost cut the cardboard if I cut it off. I think we need another one, beautiful beans. And a little piece right here. Flip it over. Oh, that's not tight enough, so let's move it in more. That glue. And I might have to wait until this dries to sew that. Didn't think of that. And then, you know, just bend your. When you use Mod Bodge, you have to do this. It likes to curl whatever you glue it to. Just, and this ruffle isn't as big as that one. It must be because I didn't use as much. That's all right, though. All right. When that dries, I'm going to sew that on there. Let's move on to this, our doily. All right. I'm going to get all, all of the colors out. I got bundles, sage. They're all distress oxide, brush corridor. Distress oxide. And of course, I didn't get a brush for that. Or sorry, chipped sapphire. Make sure you can see these. Well, I'm gonna have to put them up there so I have enough room and squeeze lemon. And I have to go get a dauber for the blue.
I have these. They're makeup brushes. All right, I just want to make sure the brown was off, but you can get these at Dollar Tree. Okay, so I wanted to show you the difference. I think this one's bent, so I think I want to keep this white. I think it's this one. But I want to show you. I want to do some on some of these cotton foils too. Here, let's. This is kind of bare there. Or is this the one I wanted to wrap this around? I'm not sure. See how pretty that looks? And this, to be honest with you, this Park Lane Bright Colors, I think the name of it is, this cardstock is kind of flimsy. So when I do my Easter ones, I'm going to make sure I glue paper down on them to make them not so flimsy. But I don't know if that's the one. I think that's the only one I can do, white. This one needs more colors. But yeah, I think that's white. Alright, so let's... I want to do something. These ones, though. They're kind of plain. Right, like right here. I'm coloring this do do doily, okay? So I'm doing two things at once. I'm coloring a doily because I want it colored for another piece, but at the same time, I'm going to ink some down here. So I think I'll have to do brown so that shows up. I don't want to show you. I get it nice in those grooves. So that part shows up. Alright, let's see how it looks. There you go. See that? Let's stand up and show you. See that beautiful beings? Gives you a little pattern in there. Just a little pattern. Alright, let's put this aside. And I gotta continue this, so blue. You know? This is for this pocket file. It's not even. There we go. This pocket file is for my Easter. So let's put a what, what color did we? We got green. I'm doing green again. Did I use one of these for green? I don't even know. Oh, let's do blue. going to redo these that I already colored because it's starting to rip. Okay. So let's do blue. I'm going to go around the edge so that shows up. take the pink one I got for my Easter. I wish I put it over here. And let's see, hopefully the yellow shows up. <laughs> hopefully. Okay, let's put it this way. Let's see if it's coming off. 
No, it's not. These don't hold ink like the daubers do, which is good in this case. I'm probably going to have a little green, but that's all right. Until the green gets off. Because it wetted it. Wetted it, it. It wet it, so now the green's coming through a little bit. Hopefully it's shot. Let's see if this is even working. Wait a minute, let me do this first. Yes, it's showing up, but it's showing up brown. But that's okay. All the colors must be getting wet from the new ink. Alright, that's a light color, but it still shows up, and I think it looks pretty on the pink. camera's wiggling. It's faint. I'm trying to get it so you can see where the light is. But you can see it. Okay? Just a little backup, back background decoration. Okay? So, let's go back to where's our I don't even know where the, it is. Here it is. <laughs> okay. Let's see it. It's curling. It's dry now, so I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and sew it. I'm going to do a wraparound stitch, and I'm going to make sure it's all the way to the bottom of this. And as you can see, this is just a trident cardboard. I think I already told you that. Maybe that was in a different video. And then I'm going to make sure that looks nice here. And I might have to glue a piece of something there. Yeah, definitely gonna have to. All right, and I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings. Why the, I had to charge my phone. I need a piece of lace stick right here over this. So I'm looking in here, even if I don't have lace, this would match her because we put that there on her. I'm doing the blue one, the circle one we made with a lady in the middle. Of our circle we cut out with our punch. And I'm just, hopefully you can see, I'm just gonna take this and I'm trying to get all the fray off of it. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna put this here to hide that ripped part. If my, where's my glue? Right here. And my glue needs filled. I should have done that. But I forgot to put the lid on too, so it's not wanting to work with me. Yeah, let's that that free. Should we put the free at the other end? And I got her all glued up. You'll see. You'll see beautiful beings. But I'm sure you'll have a good memory, so you know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to get this fray. It's giving me a really hard time. And I got it everywhere. And it's sticking to my fingers. Oh, I need to talk louder because it's raining out. <laughs> it's raining out, beautiful beings. So if you hear this noise, it's my pump. And it makes my sink burp. Don't ask me why, but my sink has always burped. Even when I was a little girl and I lived in his house, my sink would burp with that pump, with a sub pump. And it's taken all the rain out of the basement. Or making it so it don't go in the basement. All right, here's her. I think I gave you a close up of her. I think she turned out beautifully. We're gonna stick her. I want her over here. So I'm gonna stick her right there. Her new napkin. Hopefully I got enough glue. I think I do. I think I really do the things. If I wanna hold her and I wrapped a piece of doily around it. Because our theme is, you know, blue, 
white. She's turning. She's turning. I don't like it. I don't think I put. I gotta put more glue on her. But our theme is, you know, white for the sky, blue for the sky, this color for the mud, brown for the trees, green for the trees, green for the greenery coming up, and yellow for the sun. Okay? That was our theme to begin with. It's all about earth colors for spring, because it's a new in itself. I'm going to set her aside and put this on top so I don't forget. Can I show you this? Can you see all this? Yes, you can. I put a blue doily here, a heart one. I wrapped it around and I stuck this one here and this one here and that one there. And I don't know what I'm doing on there. I'm probably not going to be able to finish these because I really need to start getting busy on Easter because it's right around the corner. And this one, I need to, I don't even know where to put this, but I need to finish that one that we're doing when we we're last in the video. I took a, remember the, if you watched that video, I took a coffee filter and I was coloring them underneath the sprays when I was spraying the ribbon I had. That's, I stuck that there just because these are like flimsy, so I figured, I felt like they needed something extra. Well, it's not this one, but it's the other ones. This isn't the same cardstock as the other. But I put her hair, her, the shoe there, and then I haven't figured out what I'm going to do there yet, but I'll figure that out. And this one, oh, we want to do this. I put a card there so that would start coming up more because it was hard to, you know, it wasn't, there was nothing in it, but what, the more you put in it, the more it will start coming up. But I do. Right, after this, we'll get back to the one I sewed. <laughs> I'm all over the place, beautiful beings. I'm just going to swirl a little bit. My glue really does get filled. And am I talking loud enough? I hope. Leave a comment. Tell me if I talk loud enough. Tell me. If, you, you, probably, you probably just turn the TV up. That's what I told them. You probably just turn the TV up. What's the big deal? But I don't know. It's not even long enough. What was I thinking? Okay, we need a fresh one. Where's that at? Here we go. But this one's not cut. It's cut on that end. There we go. Oh, I think I need more glue now. Because that piece is bigger. Here comes the glue. Here comes the glue. Do, 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 do. Here comes the glue instead of the sun. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna well remember our band just went flying. Let's do it this way. Right up to the edge. Come in a little bit. And then this is not fabric scissors. And that's hanging off. I'll just do that for now, trim it later when I find my fabric scissors. Alright, so that part's done. I'm gonna play that, and then I got this one. Is there anything I need to do in this? Yes, same thing. The envelope. Ay, ay, ay. I'm just trying to cover everything. I got too much stuff on the table. That's another reason why I want to get this done. Alright, this one is as long as that. I already pre trimmed it, and you can see that, right? Yes, again. So we're going to take some glue and just put that down there. And plus, it'll just make this more, more secure so it doesn't rip so easy. I'm hoping that they're gentle with it. 
sorry, I just bumped you. I'm trying to steady, steady you. I don't know. I, I like this camera holder because it goes way up, but I can't zoom in unless I stand up and do the camera. The other one, I did, you know, I did buy another one other one that I had uh, an accident don't ask <laughs> I did <laughs> I thought it was a different camera holder but it wasn't and I bought the same one I had before so if you like the other one I had please especially my old subscribers the ones that have been really faithful and with me for a long time let me know I'll go back to that and then I'll just use this when I use when I make really big journals. See, my sink just burped. I don't know if you heard it. But yeah. So, I can just go back to this. The other, the old one, that's already going down. Too late. Too late. I can go back to my old candle holder because I have a brand new one. If you like that better. And I haven't decided what I'm doing. The rest in here yet. I put that there. I don't know if I showed you that. All right, beautiful beings. You missed a lot because my camera sh shut off. So I got mad <laughs> and I deleted a bunch of apps. <laughs> and I'm thinking the main one was Pinterest because I didn't have this problem until I downloaded the app Pinterest. And it, it it's like they send, you know how they send you stuff like every single day they're sending you something. If you have it, you'll know what I mean. But it was driving me crazy, so I just deleted it, and then I looked into my storage, and I have lots and lots of storage now, so I'm thinking it was Pinterest, so I just deleted it. I have it on my other devices, so I'm good. But it just, I didn't want to delete it because I usually take a photo of something I do, and then, you know, from the video I do, and then just upload it to Pinterest, but... Pinterest is gone and so is my magnifier and my flashlight and among other things <laughs> so I just deleted it all but I have storage for my videos and that's all it that matters it's all I use the, my the phone John's phone for anyway well it's my phone now but it was my brother's phone and that's the reason I started recording because I didn't have a phone I didn't believe in cell phones I have a land phone but that's the only reason why I got a phone because my brother crossed over and everybody said take his phone, so I did, and then I got a camera holder and started recording last year. It's almost been a year. It might be a year coming up that I've been recording videos. But anyway, that's how you put it. We, what we did, or what I did, because you couldn't see, is I cut this, this part off because I was too worried about ripping that, getting that underneath there. And now we got to figure out what to cover that up with. And I showed you other things, but I'm going to have to go through the video. That's where I wanted to put that one thing. I think this one right here. I think. And I think you've seen this part, but I didn't read it to you. Okay. The end. It's poo and tinker. No, that's... Tinkerbell. <laughs> Pooh and I can't remember. And then I can't remember her name either. Okay, the end. When I was one, I just I had just begun. When I was two, I was nearly new. When I was three, I was hardly me. When I was four, I was not much more. When I was five, I was just alive. But now I am six and I'm as clever as clever. So I think I'll be six now forever and ever. I thought that was so cute. That came in those ones I showed you. Yeah. And these things. And I think that one's story rhymes, but again, materials of notes. Okay, beautiful beings. I'm gonna have to upload this video to get the video off my camera so I have enough room to make more video. Sorry about that, but I wanted to show you. Look. I made a bow. <laughs> and I'll continue from where I left off. Okay? Have a wonderful everything.